So anybody, anybody who's worked at Schlumberger is going to tell you that the best part about Schlumberger is its people. And that starts with, and the, and the company culture. So, and anybody, and anybody who quits, I, I've never heard anybody quit because, because they didn't like who they worked with. It's usually because a better opportunity presented itself and it happens. Um, but they loved everybody they worked for. So, and I'm no different on that. It's the biggest, the biggest thing I like about working with Schlumberger is the people. Uh, next, it's actually the development opportunities. We do have a very, a flexible but defined career progression system, especially for technical people. It's pretty common for, for people who want to remain technical to kind of stagnate career-wise because they don't have the, the very visible progression of taking on more direct reports, right? Becoming a manager for three, then becoming a manager for 10, uh, moving up through middle management and upper management. What we have instead is a uh, technical career progression system where we, which is self-driven, where we need to have a certain, a certain number of examples of things that we've achieved in different categories, be them in mentorship or professional visibility or technical achievement, et cetera. And then we bring it up, we send an application and there's a panel. And if, if we're not moving up through it, it really feels like, well, I, have, I only have myself to blame because I've done all these things and I haven't done the document. Um, in terms of resources, I have the resources to do whatever I need to do. It's very frustrating when you don't have the resources to do your job, but pretty much anything I need, I can, I can get to achieve the objectives. Obviously there's, you know, if I say, oh, I need a Ferrari to, you know, to take the tool faster there, <laughs> it's gonna be denied, but uh, more specific things, you need specific tools, you need specific software, you need, uh, you need a bigger desk, uh, you need lab space, you need special facilities, you can get them because you're trusted to know what you need and you, you, know, you discuss with, with your manager and depending on the size of the ask, it just it gets approved at different levels. But if you can show a business need for anything, you get it and that's very empowering. Um, that's, also, I like designing things, and that's what I do. So <laughs> there's also that. Um, and one last, one last thing is we have a system called um, career orientation reviews. We're encouraged to do them every three years or so, three to five years. And that's a meeting between us and our management and HR where we discuss, hey, so this is what I've been doing, and, but this is where I'd like to be, but I know I don't have the, the training in this yet but I'd like to go there. And at that point, you know, they examine, they examine, hey, is it possible for you to go there? What training do you need to do? And you come up with a plan so that you can get there. And I think that's very, I think it's very cool to be able to have that. If I decided I absolutely wanted to be a sales engineer, I would go to sales training and get those things done. 